gestation period for the pangolin is five months. The ultrasound scan is basically a diagnostic tool that we use uh, for many uh, purposes. One of the reasons we use an ultrasound machine is to actually detect pregnancy in animals. We use it a lot in reproductive work. And so in this particular case, um, we wanted to see if Nita, the pangolin, the female pangolin, was actually pregnant. So the ultrasound scan was a very good uh, a tool that we can use because it is a non-invasive tool, it doesn't hurt the animal in any way and it's easy to do and it's a quick procedure. Uh, so that's the reason why we use Nita came here uh, last April. Um, when she came in she was only 2.5 kilos. Uh, now she's been here for roughly 6-7 months. Uh, she's actually gained weight while being here. She's up to 4.7 kilograms now. Um, and um, she was actually mixed with the male uh, last October. So since then, uh, it was recorded that she was uh, she had been mated, and so now we are actually doing the uh, evaluations to see how her pregnancy goes. Why this is very important to the night safari, uh, this breeding of this pangolin is because the pangolin is actually an endangered species. Uh, it is one of the species which is greatly poached for its uh, scales, for its meat. Um, you know, the scales are used for traditional medicine, it is believed that it can cure all kinds of uh, illnesses. Uh, the meat is sold as bush meat and unfortunately the pangolin is one of these animals that are actually very easily picked up from the wild because they don't really have uh, a defense mechanism. Their defense mechanism is rolling up into a ball but it's not really defense for human beings, they just pick it up. And the breeding of pangolins and captivity has been on a very low scale so this is a great success for, for the night safari. Nita was a public donation to us last April. Since this is the first pangolin breeding for the night safari, we all are actually really looking forward to it.